did because remember she did she said she went and she ate and that was the best food she ever tasted and she it was from pro that's young said what's good it's your boy sheen chef Susie. we are jumping back into a great series one that we loved a lot Happy that it's back out, but we are jumping back into The Bear, season three. Last season, we ended off with Carmi basically self-sabotaging and basically broke things up with Claire. And then, you know, was having a screaming match with uh, our guy, Richie. Forgot my guy's name, but can't wait to jump back into this. They they uh, basically had the bear up and running, so want to see what they do to basically climb up the ranks in Chicago. So... If you guys want to jump a couple weeks ahead in content, get some uncut reactions, and get some exclusives that aren't coming over to YouTube, make sure you hit that link in the, in the description for our Patreon, and head over there and sub up. Without further ado, let's jump back into the bear. Let's get it. Nah, we back. I ain't gonna lie. Didn't even really have to wait that long at all. He watched it at the perfect time. That boy mad low. That boy ain't go to sleep since that day. Oh shit, they mom came last time too. Mm -hmm. And left. Get my man Pete dirty. That boy was crying. And he missed the opening. But was locked in the motherfucking fridge orator. Luca. Damn. Go talk to her. Yeah, bro. She a good job. I'm not going to though. He leaving? Oh, this is the flashback when he was first leaving. Oh, yeah. He almost got everything. Then they gave us the flash, Icky. That boy got that strut to him now. I destroyed everything in your crib, strut. He definitely gangsta. <laughs> See his shoulders? That boy set your crib on fire. I not care. That was a perfect square. Killed him first day. He would took his feet off. The demon. What the fuck is this shit? It's way too many components. Basically made nachos. You wanna add another fucking sauce? The wrong ingredients. That's where you got the scissors cut and shit, mm -hmm. That's how you do better. Like, bro, you got a great working kitchen. They didn't even need you on opening day. The expiration dates on them, uh, facts. it. They really cut them boys' heads off. Fucked up out here in these streets, man. They be doing the same thing to us if they was an advanced species, boy. She seemed like she was a great person to work underneath. That boy dialed. See his these? mouth? What's how you know he dialed in his mouth like this? Damn. Yo, we cooking it. Nah, he's locked. <laughs> and they showing us like what Luca was talking about. Like, I was hey. next to somebody that I couldn't keep up with. Like, boy, really moving. No matter what I do, <laughs> no matter what I do, I can't catch him. And it's not like he's doing it and fucking up, but he's doing it and chef. it's a great job. Chef, let's fucking go. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Thank you, chef. Chefs, quiet. Sorry, Chef. Let's leave it. Let's fucking go. 
<laughs> he used to working in that fucking asshole of a kitchen. This is nah, how he ends his strike. Yeah, this is that's Jimmy LinkedIn, motherfucker. They showing us how he really like earned his strike. Like he he didn't just get there. Would been working. But looking at that wall, they ain't my shit up there. Off the bat, come on now. Don't get better than that. It's the boys, they chopped their head off. Beat them for a little bit. Shot the boy neck off. He had that mark on his face. He didn't have that before. Like... What? I'm never going to see you again. You're going to see me again. This music in the back is so perfect, tough, bro. This shit got me want to like make me want to cry. Shit. The boy's running away from. It's the a dog. calm, but it's like intense. No way, that boy stink like that. Oh, that's um the lady's husband. She was like, "You can come to New York and live with us." He was at the uh, at the Christmas party. That dinner. He, oh, but this is also showing that he went above and beyond. Like, he did the extra shit. You don't see nobody else in there doing that. And he don't even own the kitchen yet. It's my station, though. Wait, so they did have a thing before. That's what I'm saying. Now, this is a flashback. Look at this hair. I know this is a flashback. I'm trying to think. Is this before he left or after he came back? Nah, that's L man's. I never put my shorty on the bulbs. She probably already smoking bulbs. No matter. I don't know I me. Mean. Like what? What's wrong with this guy? Right. Squeeze that shit. Damn, that's all went through his head just now when she did that. Oh, you made it with everyone else. No, Kaka, she was about to break down. I left you alone. So don't let it happen again. It's never gonna happen again. Dang. You should call. Yeah, call her. Yeah. Mm hmm You think she wants to hear from you right now? It's not what I was talking about. Who, Richie? That's the only person. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what I said, but I know I didn't mean it. That shows you what he was thinking about, though. Flow. I know you didn't mean it. And um And that shows Sydney wasn't thinking about her either. Like yeah, there's no I time for that. Just, um, I'm sorry. And I love you. Oh and I'm sorry. And um and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. But I hope. And I love you. Did I love you hit? Because that's what Richie said to him when he knew he was arguing. He yeah. said, fuck you. Fuck you. He said, I love you. I love you. I love you. Ah, I love you. Because before that had been Richie saying that. Oh, I forgot. His mom. I got that text. Shit in shambles right now for everybody. He put that boy up. Dang. Okay. That's I might what have read that Sydney book. was reading. Yeah. There's no way Carmi don't know how to cook in real life, though. Like, he really probably can cook in real life after this. This this will give you so much more appreciation for food, just watching this show. He be making everybody's job easier. Now, she was really on him, too. She part of that boy's journey. Five more seconds on these, chefs. Good? Yes, chef. You got this? Yes, chef. You sure? Yes, chef. Do you need me to finish it for you? No, no, chef. Five more seconds on these always, chef. Five more seconds. Wait, so they did have a thing before. That's what I'm saying. 
Now this is a flashback. Look at his hair. I know this is a flashback. I'm trying to think. Is this before he left or after he came back? Nah, that's L man's. I never put my shorty on the bulbs. She probably already smoking bulbs. No matter. I don't know what I mean. I'm like what? Squeeze that shit. Damn, that's all went through his head just now when she did that. Oh, you made it. With everyone else. No, Kaka, she was about to break down. I left you alone. So don't let it happen again. It's never gonna happen again. Dang. You should call. Yeah, call her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think she wants to hear from you right now? It's not who I was talking about. Richie? That's an only person. That shows you what he was thinking about, though. Pretty flow. I know you didn't mean it. And, um... And that shows Sydney wasn't thinking about her either. Like, yeah, there's no time for that. Just, um, I'm sorry. And I love you. Oh! Yeah, you know, I love you, hit. Because um, that's what Richie said to him when he knew he was arguing. He's yeah. like, fuck you. Fuck you, say I love, love you. you. I love you. I love you. Oh, cause before that, a bit Richie saying that. Oh, I forgot. His mom. I got that text. Put them hems on. Shit in shambles right now for everybody. He be making everybody's job easier. Now she was really on him too. She part of that boy's journey. Five more seconds on these, Chef. Chef. You good? Yes, Chef. You got this? Yes, Chef. Are you sure? Yes, Chef. Do you need me to finish it for you? No, no, Chef. Five more seconds on these always, Chef. Five more seconds. Ah! A little drip. The boy's mouth, mouth been stuck like this. I just hope, you know, that we're all here for you. Um, whatever you need. So sorry. Marcus. I feel bad for Marcus. That's something that nobody ever want to get. Why a restaurant? Why not a restaurant? I don't know where he be at. Damn, this is still the same night. Nah, this is the next. And she said tonight was a lot. Oh, yeah. She still got her makeup on. Mm -hmm. And whoever blinks, they lose. And the winner gets a prize. Ready? One, two, three. Did you blink? You blink. Yeah, hey, uh, that's a good finesse right there. But some that this show started to make me like, it's common sense to think about, but like, the people that you run into when they're doing their jobs, they go through shit too. And that's something that a lot of people tend to forget. Bro, that's a, that's something that I think everybody be forgetting. Hustle, Shez, every second counts. Yeah. Thank you. But oh, with him she doing- Yo, she ain't say nothing that time yeah. though. Yeah. the Mikey. Mikey. Seen it. What the hell is that? Absolutely no fucking idea. Let's go, come on. Open this is the day. Room. Hey, fucking take I don't like that. I'm fucking take your money, Nat. No. She like Big Mama. Big Mama, Big Mama. You shaking? Are you nervous? No, Chef. Get the fuck out of my ear, let me work. But he made Karma who he is. Hey guys, why don't y'all stop? I'm gonna let Karmi catch up. Yo. Call me back. Where the fuck are you? He walking next to the bear, too. Yeah. yeah. That must have been the night. Yeah. Damn. What? Damn. Damn. This shit got me with a... Damn. And my man out in... Just like nowhere by itself. Man, better call Saul. This is my father's house. He laying in her bed. Yo, it's so much going on in this episode.
and nothing really going on though. Nobody's saying anything. It's just flashbacks. That's that wagyu. Yes, Lord. Tina. Oh man, Richie was it? Was a fact that didn't go. Yeah, fact didn't go, I don't think. Damn, Carmen the only one that didn't go. I feel like he felt like that would have pulled him more into like leaving and never he coming he back. Do, he needed when he knew he needed to do this right now. This guy did fucking and then go inside. Wow. That's a lot though. When you see family in a while, then that's when you see him. This is your brother's house, remember? I was running it fine without you. Why didn't he leave it to you then? Have you ever been to Copenhagen? That's where Luca is, where he is now, mm -hmm. currently. Sent that boy over there to learn about them desserts. Oh, the, what a Try to get that last drop, she ain't dropped. Fennel allergy, so blood orange. Opiate of Hamachi with blood orange. Enjoy. Because remember she did, she said she went and she ate, and that was the best food she ever tasted. And she it was from pro out. Me. Nah, because you knew when she went to go sit down at the one restaurant, she was eating everything on a menu. Yeah. So she went through all his food like, yo, who is that in the back? Nah. Literally, out your eyes. like not nah, It was fire. All right, yeah, that was in the episode one, season three, the bear, and not much was said, but it was a beautiful episode, man. Like everything that they incorporated into this is what we needed. All that backstory on Carmi, because you know we always heard the positive stories about him and how good he was, but we never really got to see his training and who he was under to learn and become the person he is today and they showed us all that so it was cool to see uh Sid going into the restaurant that he used to be at and sitting down and having something to eat going back and being able to connect certain things from season one to season two to this first episode i know a lot of people who who are gonna watch this are probably gonna just find an appreciation for food a little bit more and i think that's why they did the episode that way is for you to focus a little bit more on what Carmi was doing and not just the character but like his actions so enjoyed this the bear has always been um a good series and we've enjoyed it since the beginning so we're gonna keep trucking along it's a good episode i like how they did this with the music in the back kind of kept you on your toes the whole episode and then as the scenes with his family moved on throughout the episode they got more and more chaotic also got to see the whole situation how that affected basically the family back at home because whenever we just heard about it all we heard about was that mikey killed himself and that it just was a a shock to the family but to see like the progressive side to it that they showed within this episode was really good to see um, they really didn't say too much during this episode, but I feel like by them not doing that, it f let you focus more on what was actually happening during the episodes. Whereas, like, when it's usual dialogue throughout shows, you can get lost reading the captions or just focus on what's being heard. But them taking away like that sensory overload sometimes that can happen with episodes and just having it be process you know what i mean that was really interesting to see so i personally like this episode and how they started off season three i know some people Perfect. may not like it because it, you could say it's more of a slower episode than how they ended it off but i feel like it was so much that happened that last season and that last episode that it was only right that they started it off this way and then also seeing that this that was made for Sydney was the one that she talked about because I'm editing episode eight now for season one on YouTube and I just edited the part where Marcus and Sydney were sitting down after they left and she uh, Marcus asked her what was her favorite dish that she's ever had and she said and he was like it's from Carmi right and she was like yeah he's really really good and I think that was the dish that she was talking about so to actually see it as I'm editing it is crazy that's to see, crazy but 
Yeah, the timing of that shit is crazy. <laughs> if you enjoyed the reaction, make sure to like the video, comment down below, let us know your thoughts on it, hit subscribe on the bell icon so you can find me up these videos. Um, if you want to go ahead and basically get this whole season and then the next seasons of whatever else we decide to throw on after this, um, go ahead and look at the Patreon, man. See if you like it. If you want to support us in that way, we appreciate you. If not, we're grateful to have you guys on the side of the YouTube. Um, or the side of our uh, the side of our journey. Love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Until the next video, man. The kids reacted.